Okay, welcome back to the uh, to another episode of Planet Base. In this episode, we are in the middle of a uh, sandstorm. As you can see, it's rolling in quite uh, thick. Our colonists are safely inside. There is nobody in the. M oh, there is somebody in the mine. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna. Uh, I hope he's not gonna come out. Otherwise, he'll be in trouble. Uh, I locked the base down so that nobody can get out. So everybody's inside, uh, either working on the facilities and stuff like that, or um, just basically just doing their thing. So I'm going to lock down the mine as well. I'm going to allow our little miner that's inside there to get into the colony. And uh, hopefully nobody will try and get out. As you can see, our miner at the moment is struggling to get in. Um, I need to close that real fast before this robot... No, he got out. Where are you going? Steve, where are you going, Steve? Oh, he's going to... Okay, I see that. So, we're going to have to... <sighs> it's not good. Everybody's going outside. <laughs> I should have left the base locked down. This is so bad. Okay, uh, it's going to take a while before... Oh, look at the health. The health of that... Medic is going down so fast. Is the wind going to die? Is the wind dying down already? It sounds like it is. See, the sandstorm is really bad for people and for machines. As you can see, the quality of our robots has gone down considerably already. But I think it's starting to die down. It's getting less. Yep, it's almost. It's coming to the end. The storm is getting. Okay, we survived our first sandstorm. That's good. But now we have one colonist who needs medical assistance. That's our engineer. And we should definitely set up our sick bay and get our doctor. Where's our doctor? Doctor? Oh, there's our doctor. William Bush. I'm not quite sure why he's helping get uh, materials into the fa into the colony. He shouldn't be out there doing that. He's, 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 he should be inside keeping the colonists safe and healthy. But of course, if he ha doesn't have anything to do, he will ha help wherever he can. That's just how a doctor is, I guess. Especially a colony doctor. So, he needs to go and help this guy now. He's in bed. As you can see, he's lying there nicely. Um, I'm not quite sure where he's going though. I think he's going to sleep. He doesn't need to sleep that much. Let's see what our status is. We are status good, so let's let's change our priorities. Uh, I I say we need another. Uh, we don't need that many workers. I think we need a medic uh, more than we need. Um, workers at the moment. We need another work and uh, medic because we only have one doctor, and that doctor, if he gets sick or if he gets incapacitated or dies, even then we are um, out of options. We don't have any more doctors available, and then people will start dying. So here comes our first ship. So another excellent opportunity for a thumbnail. Excellent. So we've reached expansion level, level. So we got an additional medic. So that's f that's good. So we can turn the medic portion off. We don't need that anymore. We need more workers. Um, like so and we need more biologists. We've done a 50/50. That should be fine. The colony ship should leave in a bit, and uh, we definitely need to go and make more. Uh, cabins because we only have one at the moment. We have a couple more people that are unhappy. So that we have the chair. Uh, they can sit down here. For, oh look, there's a, something else on TV for a second. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Maybe they, they show more than just the news. I hope so. Alright, so now that we have uh, most of the facilities up and running, we need to get more food. Um, we currently have a lot of uh, vegetables. 
it's piling up in our um, in our storage. It's great. That means that we can definitely handle more people. We don't have any uh, iron though, so any ore. So let's power this back up again. Oh, we don't have any wind or any um, any solar. Uh, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, we're going to have to see if we can. Yeah, well, if we can survive this, if we can survive the night without any, any any power generation, we should be fine. It takes a while before these things are completely empty, and drained. Uh, so we should be okay for a little while, but the nights do last quite long. All right, let's. Ooh, that's, no, that's that's still pretty far away, but. They're gonna get closer and closer. So, anyways, let's see. What do we need? We need this uh, wind turbine to start generating, and we need more uh, metal. So, we need to get more people, more workers in here. We need to get more workers in our mine. Because um, currently, we have. Do we need? Do we, we need one more metal of, um, to uh, con this, to finish the building of the wind turbine. And once we have that. We should have enough energy generation to last us for the next season, at least. And then we can start focusing on getting more colonists, because currently we are an excellent state is excellent. That means that we that we will definitely have the most number of um, colonists coming to our colony. So we have a lot of free bioplastic, so we can build a couple more uh, food factories facilities. This is a a radish. Um, see, they have different versions of this stuff. You see, they have fast producing, high maintenance uh, pads, and you have the onion pad and the radish pad, who are, are just normal uh, maintenance and normal production pads. Those are the best kind of plants that you want to have in the beginning. Well, in the beginning, you want the fast ones, but they require a lot of maintenance. They basically require a, uh, a biologist per. Um, uh, per pad, we don't want that. So we don't have that many biologists. We have like, I don't know, how many biologists do we have? We have two biologists. So we got this wind turbine built. That's, we have two now. One large and that both are large. It's great. So now we have, we're, pr we're producing 126 kilowatts of power. It's great. We definitely don't need more than that. We can survive off that for a while. Let's see if we can put in can we put in yet no not yet can't we can't manage that yet so uh, the colony is gonna grow we might need to get another entrance in there soon oh let's see we have another colony ship let's see what we get so let's see there goes the ramp we got two biologists and one worker. Excellent. So now we have we've doubled the number number of uh, biologists that we have. And we have a equal number of workers. So that's 50 50. That's great. We have two medics and we have one engineer. Now we want to keep the number of workers and biologists growing. So, a mine can handle a maximum of three workers. Uh, and we need a worker per piece, per bioplastic and per metal processor to keep producing uh, materials to keep growing. Currently we have no more metal. So, um, one of the things we can start doing is start producing some, uh, some crops that we can actually sell. So this is a medicinal herb pad, a medicinal pad, produces medicine, and medicine you can sell. And as soon as we have uh, that started, we can start asking traders to come in. And if we have enough of the medicinal pads, we can trade um, our medicinal plants for other materials, or even even robots if we have enough. 
cash and stuff like that. So it's all good. So, but we need, um, we need metal. How many metal do we need? We need, the cabin is one, two. This is two, this is one. And we want one other cabin over here, don't we? Can we put that here? No, I think this is still in the way. We have a lot of food, uh, but not enough places to put it in. Let's just recycle this. And let's put that one somewhere a bit less out of the way, in, less in the way, right there, for instance. Okay, and then we make another um, another fat. What's it? Uh, food producing uh, thingy. All right, medicinal pad has been built. We have two now. It's great. That means that we can now start producing a lot of uh, medicinal uh, plants and. Uh, if we get enough of that, we can um, we can think about maybe producing a lab. Think about a lab is that a lab to produce one uh, box of medicine requires one bioplastic and one uh, medicinal herb. So we don't have enough bioplastic yet to uh, produce medicine in large quantities, but we will have to eventually. Eventually, this is this is only like ten. Medical, medicinal supplies, medical supplies, and you need one per uh, colonist whenever they get sick or get hurt or whatever. So the, it will run out fast. But as you can see, everybody's happy. Everybody's working. Everybody's preoccupied. It's all good. And we are definitely on the way to this getting this colony up and running quite well. This, this is going quite well. This is a good start. We didn't have any really hard choices to make. Um, our power clutch is currently at maximum. It's already full. Uh, we need to get another one. But to be able to build that, see, let's see, we need a, ooh, we need a really big one. Um, that will power our our colony for the next definitely the next uh, few uh, weeks and so on. It requires four iron or four steel for metal uh, but also an additional metal for the connector so it's going to require five connector uh, metal and we only have two at the moment uh, here we go some more columns three more biologists all right now uh, there is a limit to how much we, how many colonists we can have. Uh, let's go check that out. We currently have 14 colonists, and we can handle. Um, let's see, can we? How many? How many? How many people can we handle? Oh, darn it! Where is that thing? Um, yeah, here we go. Um, we have oxygen for 20 colonists. We are currently at 14, so we can only uh, maintain an additional four, uh, six more colonists, and then we are going to start running out of oxygen, and then everybody's going to start dying. That's not good. So we are now consuming a lot of energy. As you can see that's going down fast, very fast. Um, how many people do we have now? We have six biologists and five workers. It's good uh, but I'm not sure if we're going to survive if we're going to make it through the night with this little power collector I think we're going to need another one yeah we're most likely going to need another one we only have two iron in the moment he's working on one more as soon as we have the third we can put down our, our little bit smaller power co uh, power uh, collector we'll put it over here I want the power supplies and stuff, uh, turbines and everything to go in this direction so we can focus our colony on putting more colony buildings over here. Try and separate that. Uh oh, we are definitely low on power. So let's, let's cut this power. Let's cut this thingy. Let's also power down the uh, hospital. And um, I think we should also power this down. There we go. That's a, that's a lot slower. 
It's still going down fast, but I think we should be able to make it. Ah, they're removing the last little bits. Hmm. We are almost done with this bit of metal here as well. If only we had that one last little bit. This is going to happen quite often. You're going to have uh, a plan, like put more, more power collectors down, and that kind of stuff. And then you're going to come across a little limit. That is, I don't, I don't have enough metal or I don't have enough bioplastic. That's going to keep going. That's always, that's part of the, the challenge of this game. Of you, uh, as a gamer, trying to figure out how to prioritize um, putting down your very limited resources. I mean, it's not going to last forever. Eventually, um, you're going to end up with more resources than you know what to do with. And then you can just sell it off, play around, buy more robots, that kind of stuff. And you're going to get a lot of cash. But that's a late game, mid to late game. Early game, you're going to be struggling with your resources. And, of course, also power. See, you need resources to generate power, to build more power plants, more power supplies, more collectors, and um, you need uh, you need also more facilities because you're gonna get more colonists to come to your colony. You want to have more colonists. Um, but they just simply just you can't have everything. <laughs> That's basically the premise of the game. You need. To figure out where you want to put your focus on. And currently, I think we need to have an another solar panel. We have one solar panel and it's just producing 34 kilowatts. 30, 47. 47 kilowatts. 50 kilowatts. Okay, that's that's good. It's a 50 kilowatt uh, solar panel. It's producing enough to slowly but surely uh, increase our storage capacity, uh, storage level. But we need more wind. Um, so it's definitely not going to go up fast. So maybe we need another solar panel instead of a another power collector. Uh, it's definitely something that you have to think about. <laughs> like I just said, it's either this or it's either that. There is no, I want to build it, both of them at the same time. You can't, you can't do that right now this level well, I'm pretty sure you could if you prioritized uh, mines for instance and a lot of uh, metal processors but this is the minimum of what you need uh, you need a, uh, a mine you need a production facility you need um, a biodome and you need a canteen of course you also also need an oxygen generator without those um, like these four things your colony won't go anywhere and without these things you won't be able to supply your colony with anything they, people won't survive at all so um, whoa that was close keeping these things running it's what uh, it's the challenge of this game it's basically the daily task of deciding what you want to build first and currently I am in a predicament. I don't know if I should build this first or if I should build a power collector first or if I should build a solar panel first. Hmm. We have an additional iron uh, metal here. So that's is our storage capacity really full? So 96%, so it's full. Nothing else can get in it. We have three more items here that need to be put in the um, need to go into storage, but uh, that's not gonna fit, is it? No. We have a medic here. He's not doing anything. But we can't do anything until these are gone. We can also also uh, can also recycle the water extractor and move it over here, and that will also give us more space here, so we can build that um, that cabin on this side that might be something we want to do but we can also build an additional solar panel um, we need to of course build another 
Was this a large? Yeah, this is a large. This is small. This is a... Is this a large? This is a extra large. It's definitely larger than that. These the same? Yeah, they're the same. So this is a large... Um, solar panel. We need one more metal and then we can make that solar panel. Oh, he's actually providing... See, right now, our little uh, constructor bot uh, just maintained uh, our solar panel and consumed one of our uh, spares. So now we have nine. Uh, that might make it that we might have to prioritize making more spares in the future. As soon as these guys uh, get down into the red category with their um, uh, their uh, condition, uh, they'll stop working and they won't provide anything. So they currently um, they're because of their uh, low maintenance. They're also, of course, producing far less. Uh, energy than they should be. This one's producing 50 out of 50, but if the wind was at max, this would maybe produce 47 kilowatt, not 50 out of 50. This one would still be producing 50 out of 50 kilowatts, but hmm, I think we need another power collector. But that's just me. I'm not quite sure. Oh, look, there goes the last. We need that medical supplies gone as well. Who needs to get? I need to break somebody's leg. Can I break your leg? No? Can I break yours? Who's non-vital? <laughs> let's, let's power up this thing. The mine. Get everybody working. We need one more metal. We don't have anything at the moment. There goes another uh, spare. Uh, we might have to look into making a factory before we start working on um, more energy. But... Uh, we still have eight. Should last us quite a while still. Let's keep it as it is right now. Can we put that here? No. So why doesn't it want to go right here? I want I want to put it right here. Is this thing in the way? I think it's in the way. Alright, we have these people all sleeping. Is she sleeping standing up? The biologist. She wants to sleep, but there are no more beds. So right now, her morale is going down quite fast. Well, okay, not so fast. <laughs> she's still at maximum ready happy. I don't have a bed. I don't need a bed. She's really independent. She's an independent woman who doesn't need no bed. Okay. Oh, look, we have an additional ore. We have the ore we need. And that should give us... Um, if, if we want, we could build this right now. We could leave the ore for the power plant, for the solar panel, for later. Um, I'm going to put down this uh, power collector. I think it's safer to have more power when there's enough wind than to not have enough power. Because currently we're building, we're producing 50 uh, kilowatts. And we're only using 35. So we could be filling up an additional power collector at the moment. But we, yeah. So I'm going to place that down right there. Since I want us to go uh, into this space. And then eventually into here with all our power generating facilities. And uh, kind of keep the power generation. It's, the, it's a thing. Um... The further away you build stuff, the longer your colonists have to walk uh, to uh, build it and to maintain it. So that gives, a, gives, gives you a situation where you might get into danger. So what you want to do is keep your uh, power generating facilities as close to the edge of mountains and those kind of things as possible. So you have the inside middle sections to build either... Um, oxygen generating uh, facilities or uh, airlocks so that your, your people can actually still get there relatively fast and get back inside 
uh, at a timely fashion if, this, if there is another sandstorm, for instance. Now, this is particularly important in the later levels. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, when we get to that, we'll, we'll of course, uh, I'll, I'll show you. But right, Hey, look. Wait, is somebody in trouble? Oh, no, we have space here. That's why. So can we build, build it now? <laughs> no, we can't. We might have to move the water extractor. We have to might, move, might have to move it over there. Uh, but in order to move it, because when it's such a vital piece, uh, we, need, we are producing twice as much power or water than we need, as we need. So it might be a, a possibility to move it right now. It's just that I know it requires two. Oh, is it required two or one? One iron and uh, one additional uh, iron, uh, metal for a connector to put it down. So we need we need three, and we currently have one. So if my math is correct, and I'm pretty sure it is, that's not enough. <laughs> All right, here goes our power collector. This should get filled up pretty soon, uh, pretty fast as soon as we get uh, our solar panel involved as well. Let's get this last little connector up and running. There we go. So there we go. So now we have, we're producing 66 kilowatts of power. That's before our uh, solar panel will start working as well. Then we'll get over 100 uh, kilowatts of power and that should fill up our power collector real fast. That means that we'll have more than enough additional power uh, stored away to make it through the day. Now we have six, we've had, this is day six, hour six. And look at that, you can see the power going up fast. So we at 80, 84, 90. Come on, can we go higher? Yes. 101, there we go. So with two power connectors uh, available, more than enough uh, power to keep all of our uh, colony running at full speed. We don't have to turn anything off. Well, we do want to keep this off because we don't have the facilities yet to uh, to house more um, more colonists. We currently have five uh, workers and six biologists, and we are undecent. Oh, we have somebody with a broken arm. So we have ten medical supplies. Let's power this up. And our medic should be waiting for... He has a broken arm. Or has a broken leg. I think I'm assuming he has a broken arm. Oh, another one with a broken arm. Because he's walking. Uh, if you have a broken leg, I don't think he'll be walking. <laughs> All right, there we go. But we only have one bed at current. Um, so that means that we won't be able to help this guy out. Not yet, at least. How much is there? How much does a, a lab cost? It also requires three. Um, the thing about a lab is a lab is also a dead end facility. It doesn't uh, it doesn't allow connections from the lab, or does it? Uh, I'm not sure. I think we should be able to put a lab here. We'll put it as close to the. Uh, to the uh, infirmary as possible. So where's our doctor? So we have two doctors. That's a zoobiologist, a biologist. Okay, where's our doctor? Come on, doctor. We have two doctors and none of them want to help our people. Okay, that guy got helped. So we have nine medical supplies left. And here is the second guy. He's working. He's also working. That broke his arm. I mean, these people are really incapable of keeping their arms out of weird, hazardous places. So, okay, let's see. We need um, one iron, one plastic. We have enough for that. The trouble is, um, I think we should put it down. I think we need it. I think we're going to need it. So let's, let's just put that down. Let's see, does it actually allow us to build something off? Yes, it does. Okay, good. So we still have the option of connecting from the uh, from the lab. It's good. It's not a dead end. Ah, excellent. All right, our worker is fixed. He's fine. He's better. 
but we have we have two metals um, currently being transported to our construction yard we have all the power we need we have far too much power generation at the moment uh, which is great I guess um, not very efficient but we are storing some of it we need to store more of it that would be nice because we do have some days or even multiple days that there is there will not be any wind I can expect that I can expect windless days and windless evenings so then the entire day there won't be any wind and there won't be any um, wind in the evening either so then we only have the 50 kilowatt uh, solar panel array to generate power in the afternoons or in the mornings and that will not be enough to fill up our power collector so that will be a slow death so we will definitely need to get another solar panel so we need to prioritize uh oh our constructor bot is an, in very poor condition it needs to be needs to be fixed we only have one engineer that's the medic where's the engineer that's a worker oh, there's an engineer and the engineer is able to fix everything so he's currently just like replacing some circuit boards polishing some pieces of metal and um, generally just doing the magic touch and then this thing should be up and running in no time it's a current uh, at the moment, at this level, we don't have a s automated service bot, so uh, he will be uh, the engineer will be the only way to fix our bots. We don't also have any money to uh, help um, or buy new bots. So the bots that we have, these ones, these two, are critical. They they well, this one, our carrier bot, as the name implies. He likes to carry stuff from either here to over there or from uh, wherever to our construction yards and will help in bringing our materials including all of our uh, other resources from A to point B faster than our colonists can walk which is great that means that we can speed up the construction of things and also um, make it so that we get uh, our materials inside faster this is as soon as it's produced. Oh, well, we're almost at maximum wind power. So how much are we producing? 92 kilowatt. Oh, now we are at max. So we are at 100 kilowatts. So they're both producing 50-50. Excellent. Uh, that's that's pretty useless because we <laughs> our power collectors are currently uh, at max. So that means none of our power is being drawn from our power class. It's being supplied directly from our wind turbines. This is also good. So let's build a little lab. Now we have two options. We can either build a meat tissue synthesizer, which is great. That will produce uh, food, uh, mostly meat for our colonists. And we have five meals. That's not much. We need, we need another meal provider. There we go. Maybe we need some more water here as well. Need another that's another mealer a meal uh, synthesizer uh, and we also have the option of building a, um, a workbench we're not we need a workbench because we want to make more um, medical supplies and medical supplies uh, oh <laughs> that was close if we had produced that and built that water supply thingy there uh, water extractor that would have been destroyed so good thing we didn't move that yet now, um, the end goal and the, at the late game, or even medium game, is to get the anti-meteor laser. Um, but it requires a whole bunch of stuff. It needs a lot of energy, and it requires a telescope and a control center. So, um, this is what we are going to need to build eventually. And then in the late game, we have these guys. These are... Um, so, we need, we need a signpost, and a pyramid, and a monolith. They're basically just big commercial uh, boards and uh, basically showcasing uh, what we can do. They're very expensive to build and they require a lot of everything. And that's why they're endgame. Um, 
materials. Okay, we have our workbench. Let's see if they will uh, start producing uh, some medicine for us. Now, a workbench requires two things, namely um, a medicinal plant, so leaves, and a bioplastic, one block of bioplastic. So uh, we currently have no bioplastic. So we also need to uh, maybe build another bioplastic uh, producer right here. Keep that going. We have a whole bunch of ore. It's full ore that needs to be produced. Maybe we should shut down our mine and get our guys prioritizing producing this. So we prioritize uh, this building. That means that everything in our works, when they are available and not sleeping, like they are right now, they should be working in here full time. Uh, we don't necessarily need um, them to work on this right now because we don't have anything being built. But we do not have any more bioplastic. And that is a problem. Bioplastic is essential. Uh, it's used with almost any kind of building. So if we have a uh, we need to build something really fast, um, we would have to wait for bioplastics to be produced. And that's a danger if we need something like, uh, I don't know, Maybe one of our turbines gets destroyed or uh, something blows up the, the storage department that we have, uh, yeah. We need to make something real fast. Uh, we don't have that option. So the power, power, power collector right now is being drained. That's okay. As soon as this power collector is empty, this power collector will start draining as well. See, do we have excellent status? Excellent. Yes. So that means that um, well, everybody's happy, which is great. That makes me happy. Uh, I want to put this uh, cabin here. I want to keep it there. You want to spread them out as much as possible. You don't want to have all your colonists die in one giant ball of flame and bits and meat and stuff and you want them to be separate uh, from each other so that if this building does get destroyed by a meteorite your entire colony doesn't just stop functioning now we also have a little problem if we have a meteorite hit our airlock uh, we're stuck in here we also only have one engineer and an engineer is the only one that can fix uh, a problem if something was to happen. So what we are going to do is we're going to power up our landing pad and we are going to mitigate that little problem by getting us a second engineer. So we need more biologists anyway, so we just will, we might just do 50-50. Oh, we don't need any biologists. Okay, that's fine. Let's just, uh, let's get some more workers instead. There we go. <coughs> so um, something we do want to have as soon as possible is a radio antenna and a telescope. These guys, the radio antenna will get us signals from outer space so we can uh, help other people and communicate back to Earth and of course to other ships that are flying past the planet. And a telescope that will allow us to uh, predict incoming storms. Uh, for that we need a um, control center. The control center will also allow us to um, to give warning signals to all of our colonists so we can set our current uh, security level. Currently our security level is at... What's our security level at? Uh, at zero, I think. Hmm. How do you, how do you set the uh, security level again? Let's see. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, grids, camera... Um, Base management, is that what we need? Security controls, okay. Main control, blah, 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 blah. Uh, disasters, guards, intruders, medics, okay. No, there's nothing here. All right, that's, that's fine, I guess. Now, I'm looking for the uh, menu item that allows me to set the um, base management. Let's go here. Okay, right here. This, this is the security controls. F6, F6. As soon as we get the, the security control, we can set F6. And that will allow us to set base security levels. 
And depending on the base security level, we can either lock all the doors uh, automatically uh, or we can uh, get all of our guards on high alert. We don't need that at the moment because we uh, don't have any security threats. But uh, they will come and they will try and get inside. And they will look like normal colonists, like these guys. Uh, but they will definitely not be normal colonists. They'll be armed, dangerous, and trigger happy. So we have, currently we have uh, three bioplastic. It's great. And we are producing an additional uh, medicine uh, block. It's great as well. And uh, there goes another maintenance block. It's not good. Uh, our maintenance blocks are going down. Uh, sorry, this one's here. This, we have our spares. We only have, we're going to have seven in the moment. Let's see who's coming down. Will we get an additional engineer or is it just going to be a whole bunch of... Oh, we get, we get three engineers now and one, uh, one worker. So now we have six workers, six bio, uh, biologists and three engineers. That's good. That means now that we can put this back to 50, 50, 50. There we go. We'll set that off because we don't need any more colonists. We are currently close to capacity. We have 17. Now, that will be like, you guys are thinking probably you have three more slots for three more colonists. I can't dictate how many people are in this colony ship. If there are two or three, that's fine. But if there's four, I have a problem. <laughs> Then I would have to build really fast an additional oxygen supply, uh, oxygen generator. And uh, currently, uh, we have other problems. Uh, we need to house our people so they can sleep. Uh, for that, we need to build a, another um, water extractor. So right here. It's going to take two iron. It's great. That will allow us to remove that, which will, we will lose, of course, one iron. Um, so it's gonna, two are going to go there. We're going to get one back, so we'll have two iron again. And with two iron, we might... Yeah, we will be able to build this. So then we'll be fine. So, there you go. This is, this is how it goes constantly have to think about what you want to build and what you want to place down so now we are running out of ore and our workers are uh, getting tired so as you can see they have to walk all the way around now to get there so what we do want eventually is to put another um, Another oxygen supply generator somewhere over here, and then another um, airlock over here, so we can get past our wind turbine and be able to facilitate or to manage uh, and even maintain all of our uh, power supply units and stuff like that we're going to be having over here. Oh, this is great! This is going to be fine. We're going to manage. We're going to get there really. Really good. We're gonna get a big colony, and uh, unless of course we we die right now, <laughs> there's always an option that somehow, something, some way, a meteorite uh, drops and kills like half of our colonists. If it drops on our, for instance, on a uh, central building like our biodome, for instance, then all of these buildings, um, especially these ones won't get any more oxygen because our generator is over here and uh, if we don't get that fixed uh, because all of our engineers are like dead because they all died in the accident for some freak reason there'll be nobody to fix it and everybody here will slowly die a suffocating painful death <laughs> that's the worst case scenario we don't want that so we want to get uh, we want to get this uh, as secure as possible, so we're going to we're going to have to move our airlock uh, to another site over there somewhere, and we are going to have to try and see if we can't 
uh, get a double axis between these buildings and our oxygen generator. I'll get an additional oxygen generator over here, like so, so that we can get... You want to have as many pathways as you possibly can between the different buildings that you're building. That makes it secure, makes it safe, makes it so that nobody needlessly dies. It's difficult, but it has to be done. Now we need, uh, of course, this little guy to be moved. And we'll be doing that in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're going to be building this uh, some more later. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Uh, that It all helps. It tells me that you guys don't really want to watch this kind of stuff. Or not that many. If you get... If I get a lot of likes, I will, of course, um, consider making a second series or even um, uh, making it a bit more challenging. I'm not sure exactly how yet, but we'll figure it out. We'll make it more fun. And of course, it's always uh, the, the great thing about being able to discord with you guys and just talk about what this is and how it's going. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next one.